back. This is episode 149 of NoobTube, weekly event podcast where Yuzo and I just broke into Nintendo headquarters and we got our hands on the prototype for the next generation Wii Moat. That's right. Uh, games like Let's Tap showed that Nintendo is uh, totally going casual and the buttons are just way too hardcore. So uh, we got their new controller. It's yep. called the Nintendo BXI. Oh, Woo! snap, motherfucker. Check out the BXI. That's right. All it's right, so bigger. Bigger and better. So, uh, what do you want to do first? Um, I'm thinking we're going to bust out some Mario Kart. Right. You ready? All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Ooh, left. All right. Turn right. All right. right turn all right. right. Joe. Oh, oh, fuck. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Blue shell. Woo! <laughs> fuck the blue shell. Right, God. Again. Damn it. All right. You know what? Forget forget Mario Kart. That all game right. is too stupid for me. All right. Let's try something else. Um, I'm thinking maybe Smash Brothers Brawl. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Pick Pikachu. Alright, I okay. pick Mario. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh, yeah. how do you like that, bitch? Oh, oh. why doesn't this doesn't it, what it doesn't seem to work with the, I do the God damn yeah, That's right. Alright, wait till you see my special move. Yeah, you ready you for do, this? You always do something stupid when you lose. Just play the goddamn game game, alright? I'm insulted. You have hurt my feelings. I don't do anything stupid. Unless you count the box of Thor <laughs> Give me that! This is why we can't have nice things. You always break them. I'm Yuzu Watanabe. And I'm Toa Kazire. <laughs> and this week we're talking about Conduit, Let's Tap, Blaz Blue, and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Yes, and our releases include Trine Battlefield 1943, Tales of Monkey Island Chapter 1, and uh, Memento Mori. Uh, but let's get started with Conduit. But I'm Conduit. missing something. Oh, oh. Something. The BXI uh, would have would have destroyed our precious our right. precious wine. So keep it safe. Cheers. Mm. Please, Nintendo, don't sue us. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, tap. Really showed how casual a game can be. It could we be will, very very casual. But we'll get to that later. Yeah, that'll be next. Uh, first up is conduit though. That yeah. is it is it is far from casual. It is. It's um, uh. It's, it's actually a, a relatively decent. F- for the Wii first-person shooter. Yes, and and that's the big big, big thing, right? Because like, what are the big uh, first-person shooters that we played? We played. Oh, we um, play like. Are you talking about on Wii? Or you on, the Wii on the Wii. On Wii. Uh, on there's Wii. like. Um, uh, there's Red Steel. Red Steel. Uh, Metroid is kind of first-person. It's shooter. first-person action adventure, sure. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Uh, which is actually pretty good. The, yeah. the, um, well, Metroid is the shit. That's like one of the best games on the Wii. That's right, and all three are coming out pretty soon. Um, oh, you know, I played the Call of Duty. Sucked. Yeah, you really hated bad. That. You really hated bad. that. Uh, and Medal of Honors. Uh, there was that other one. Yeah. Allied something assault. Yeah. So terrible. So yeah, the, 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 the the luck ratio of good first person shooters there, there hasn't been that many. It's been poor. It's um, been hit or it's miss. Been not good. So uh, the conduit. The, the the story is kind of like a government conspiracy with yeah. aliens, and you're there's some sort of disease or something, right? I I, can, I caught you're, some you're, stuff. So you're like a government operative, and then somebody sends you on a mission, and then. I'm not going to give away too much sure. plot, but basically, you're a government operative. You find out about a vast conspiracy, and then you decide to fight the power. Mm, just like I don't know, Hayes. Just like every other every game. other game that's out there. But you know, um, it's still cool. So, hmm. uh, so in terms of controls, though, this honestly is one of the best uh, first-person shooters I've played in the week. I see the, the last time I played something really good was was Metroid. That's where yeah. Um, actually. yeah. But but the cool thing is, like, you can actually feel that. When you have the, 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 the pointer closer to the edge of the screen, you turn a little bit faster. Like yeah. it really nailed the feel of how do I how do I wave something around to look? Yeah. And like it felt right to me. I agree, um, I agree. And and they got a lot of nice stuff going on with like the zooming on the weapon. Mm. It feels kinda nice and you can zoom back it's out. Quick. And it's quick, thank God. You can swap out weapons pretty fast. Um, um, graphics for the Wii are pretty pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, but you know, it did give me like this overall feel of like, wow, I'm sort of kinda playing a janky version of Halo. I mean, like with the aliens, right? And yeah. all the things I'm like, okay, they definitely took a lot of those sort of motifs and elements. They're like, okay, we're just going to shove them in here. Yeah. Because they sold millions and millions of copies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's never, um, never going to be a bad thing to copy something like Halo. No. Uh, they kind of tried to throw in some, some little conspiracy stuff. They threw, threw in some absolutely minimal uh, puzzle solving. There's some stuff where... You call that puzzle solving? <laughs> There's this, this thing like where you can you can shine your magic flashlight on a wall and you'll find these like three interlocking circles and you can twist them and you have to line them up in a row and sure. get into the secret room. It's like the very first puzzle you'll see in a Tomb Raider. That's pretty much that's, the that's low, as far as it's going to get. So I mean, like you said, it's just one of these things where it's good for what it is. It's just like yeah. 
It's, it's the best class of FPS on the console, yes. period. So, I mean, compared to all other ones, there's very few that even come close. Yeah. But I'd still rather play a first-person shooter on, on, on the 360 or the PS3. I mean, to I, me, you know what I mean? I would, I would. Because the, the, the controlling part of it wasn't, didn't draw me in enough. It was mm. almost like I got a little bit tired with my hand. You know, it's just mm. like, uh... So I actually really got into it. So really? I, okay. I, I'm like, um, I'm on like chapter nine or something. So I'm just about to beat it. And oh, I'm probably wow. going to beat it close. tonight. Like wow. I'm, I'm, this, I'm this far in, I'm definitely going to beat it. Like yeah. I'm not really tired of it yet. And the nice thing is the difficulty ramps up really well. Okay. So I did not get that far. I only had it because like I've been busy as hell. So I only got a few times and like, it just felt really easy to me. It starts off really, really okay, easy. Okay. So it does get more challenging. That's And it actually gets this, some parts where it's like, I died like 10 times. I was like, mother fucker like you were cool with that yeah i mean well the thing is is you actually have to it went from we like stupid stupid easy yeah. to hard enough that i was like wait okay i have to show some strategy now instead of just being like blah okay so it wasn't the impossible like i do not want to play this game anymore right. sort of okay Got so it. one really cool thing that i thought that they added that that i was surprised that i liked was uh the melee combat so yeah. you have a limited amount of ammo, mm-hmm. and a lot of the fighting is close quarters, and one punch kills people. Mm-hmm. So if you're conserving ammo, and I was like, I actually found myself really enjoying. I was running through the hallways, mm-hmm. and people were like, Ah! I'm like, Wow! What's up? <laughs> wow! What's up, motherfuckers? Just like, because it felt good because the guy yeah. like he reaches out with his gun and knocks them, and they and they die one hit. Yeah. So it's like a lot of games, the melee attack, you're just like kind of like. Like mm. this, and they're shooting you with a gun, and you're just kind of like, kind of slapping <laughs> at them, and it's like six hits later they die. Yeah. It's, it's satisfying. Just, it's a poor, it's a poor substitute. But this one is just like he has a fucking elbow that, that knocks shit. Like he's like Chuck Norris elbow. So, mm. but but and the thing I liked about it is it did it did feel like it it, it was almost like an extension because a lot of times they add the the sort of thrust movement yeah. which doesn't always work all the time but this one is just like wow it just just, it just real happens. quick just real like, quick you're not you're not like flailing around no. you're not like the whole game you can play just like this you're moving a little bit when you're playing mm-hmm. you can go like that when you attack but you're not like draw a, a you know draw a triangle <laughs> to unlock the secret wall blah 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 it's like you know they yeah. they, they kind of kept it real simple mm. which i thought was nice and they didn't really tag on like kind of like some sort of either sword finding mechanism some sort of really stupid ass that. waggle right yep. they, they totally could have like oh by the way you get the alien blade all of yeah. a sudden for like a level maybe they like, do i don't know i mean did not, not so far not okay. so far <laughs> the, the dumbest thing that they added in was uh you've got you've got these magic glasses that you can see shit mm-hmm. and is that the globe or something totally different yeah it's the globe okay gotcha um so you can switch to the globe and sometimes it's kind of cool you can find puzzles you can find sure. whatever but there's this thing where you find doors that have like locks where there's like four glowing dots that are the locks yes yeah, so and, you have, and yeah. you have to wander the whole level looking for the oh glowing... so it goes because like, i did where it's just in the same room so it actually goes where you well, have I mean, to walk the, the rooms can be kind of big but okay. the point is is basically you walk the whole room shining the light on the mm. walls <laughs> and you're just like what is this ad? Like, yeah. how is this? It's not like you're fighting enemies while you're doing it. You clear out the room and then you're just like, all right, let me fucking search this room yeah. for a needle and a haystack. It'd be more interesting, actually, if they had, like, spawning enemies where they would make it mm-hmm. a little bit harder, but then maybe that'd be too annoying. I don't, I don't it, know. It might right? have been. Um, so, I mean, that, you know, like, but that was, that was pretty minor. That, was, yeah. that, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I like it when games incorporate that sort of scanning thing into something else, right? Like, Dead Rising says, okay, you got to scan for stuff, but you got to take a picture, too, yeah. and you get points for it. Right. With a Metroid Prime, you got to scan and you actually get information. Yes. You get hit tips yeah. and, you know, clear various things. So and they like, could have done that if they wanted to. They totally. could have had you scan your enemies to get, like, better attacks against them. I mean, yeah. maybe they would have felt too derivative, but... It's you could still have added fun, a couple, though, yeah. right? Yeah, you could fun. have added some more stuff. So, and what's with the achievements? I actually saw notice like achievements being unlocked. I saw that too. Like achievement, like, it's not even like they they you know pussyfooted around it, right? They're like achievement earned. Yeah, I'm really surprised they didn't add the little boop. You know, yeah, I mean, like, serious. <laughs> it's like it's like kind of like Nintendo. I was like Mario's yeah. like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Peach is like, hey. <laughs> See, that would be so bad. That would, that would be, be pretty so sweet, actually. Um, uh, so yeah, there's there's some so sort of achievement mechanism, and like they kept popping up. I was like, oh, I should go to the menu and look at those. But you didn't care. I yeah. Give a shit. Like you know, it's not like my friends can look at my achievements on the Wii. That's true. Who cares? Who knows? Oh, but there's a multiplayer component. We did not get a chance to not try it. So, um, people say it's good. Yeah. So, so I would say this is a thumbs up rental. Yeah, I, for the little I played, I enjoyed it. It was definitely worth a few hours, and I knew there's at least two or three more enjoyable hours in it. And dude, it's an FPS on the Wii. If you only own a Wii, if you only own a Wii, you need to get this game. Yeah. If you, you know, if you own a Wii and other consoles, uh, there's nothing coming out, so you still should get this game. <laughs> like shit is kind of dry for the next. Like yeah. next week, we're reviewing a couple of really good games. Yep. Uh, and then after that, it's just kind of like... We have a month chirp, solid chirp, of chirp, shit. Chirp. So yeah. you're going to probably play old games that you already played again. I am totally um. fucking digging out Rocket Slime. <laughs> I've been jonesing. Ever since we talked about how you yeah. never beat it, 
I want what? To, I want to lap you. <laughs> you already lapped me, dude. I want to lap you. I want to lap you and beat it twice before you beat it. I once. think I have sixty-two slimes. Mm. All right, so we'll we'll see. We'll yeah. see if he actually beats it twice before I beat it once. That I would be think the chances are sad. Good. But when are you going to beat Fallout Three, huh? Later. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, we got another game up though. Next up, let's tap. We did thumbs up, right? Oh yeah, thumbs, thumbs up, up rental. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. Like, I, I, you know what I'd say is if you rent it and you try the multiplayer and you really, really love it, absolutely. then maybe buy it, but uh, I would say uh, otherwise just rent it. So, next up, let's tap, let's tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap What is up with this game? This, this game is ridiculous. The most casual game ever <laughs> invented. Like, uh, it's one of those things where they make these games for little kids, mm-hmm. not realizing that little kids are better than we are at video games. Generally speaking, yes. I think they end up making it for, like, old ladies or old like you know basically old people is yeah. cuz like kids are actually really advanced these days right yeah. like you were saying like but old people i mean i have yet to see them like out i'm seriously right like out like kill people in yeah. first person shooters i mean it's just like old come people on. like two things in this life what's that brain trainers <laughs> and we fit <laughs> Yeah, they like nothing else. They don't give a shit. About, I mean, like they'll probably play maybe the carnival resorts. games. Yeah, yeah but basically resorts. anything on. Yeah, they won't. Break they might like this one. They might, except the, the brittle bones might yeah. <laughs> <laughs> snap their fingers <laughs> off on the box. Like, really oh bad. god, <laughs> really bad for osteoporosis. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so let's tap. It's a game where you do not touch no. the Wiimote. And, and the, you just you just put your Wiimote on any cardboard box you have mm-hmm. sitting around the house. Basically, you could yeah. actually you could you could lay down your grandparents and put it on their hollow chest cavity That's or right. their or their back brace or their brain pan on their brain pan. Yeah. Just just kind of slap on on <laughs> grandma's on grandma's iron lung. Aren't, isn't this fun, Granny? <laughs> We're playing so together. She's like, kill me. <laughs> 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 so yeah, any sort of device, yeah, that can Anything, totally vibrate. Sure. Um, but the, all the games is just a bunch of different mini games, and yeah. all of them relate to tapping. So what are what are some of the mini games? There's one where you're playing Jenga. Where <laughs> it's just like, all right, so tap what, to pick a block. Tap like ten to blocks. Pick a direction. You pull the pull the block, and they're like, all right, pull the block out, and you're like, you gotta slowly tap. But if you tap too hard, it just all goes to hell, and you lose. You don't want to so do that. So fucking stupid. Yeah. The the rhythm game though you showed me was per. Yeah. It, it was the closest thing to a game that you could really find. Right. Like, um, if you want to ease your kid into, like, DDR or yeah. something, I mean, you should let them play DDR. Yeah, but, I mean, totally. Like, it's one of those things where that's actually kind of well done, where it's, like, small tap, medium tap, big tap, and you're like, da 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 I don't think it noticed the differences between the different taps for me. Because, like, basically, it was like, you're tapping too hard for every single one. So, But, no, I mean, like, it actually registered. You could hear it. You can do it. That was good. The bubble guy where you were going and flying around. You're, to, you're, just you're, like, you're playing like a kind of a space invaders. Like you're trying to fly. Or, oh god, it's terrible. Oh, it's awful. How many? Do you know how many games there are? Because I mean, maybe if there's like a hundred of them, like with I think there's it like doesn't six. seem like yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you probably unlock six more. Maybe we did not get that. Yeah, far. So I don't um, know why they made this game. There's, there's just really no point. If like, you want to play with your grandma, maybe, maybe. But there's better game. I mean, like play Mario Party. Oh yeah. Play any number of. I mean, like what the ra- raving rabbits. Yeah. Like play play something else. This is this is just bullshit. Well, they this love is... the brain trainers are actually like surprisingly fun for what they do. Like a uh, big brain academy. I love big those. brain academy. Right, those are all really good. Where and you're the actually fact that doing we can compete thinking. online. Yeah. When you like we were trying to beat. Well, each we we couldn't keep uh, compete against each other. That that's what the next one needs to be. Or we're at the same time. Oh, we because it was yeah, all yeah, scores, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but yeah, like for for all these sorts of things, it's like there are so many better varieties of this that yeah. the whole what novelty aspect of tapping near your controller like yeah. brings nothing of value. Speaking like of nothing. speaking of competing online, like yeah. I, I heard that uh, that one of the noob tubers went through and beat all of your records on Geometry Wars two. <laughs> Who is that guy? Uh, Dra- Dra- Draco Master. Draco so, Master. So Draco Master, he does all the, the, the time the time charts, so we really thank him for that. But fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you, you! You know what I mean? He basically like ruined my weekend. <laughs> like, I, I have to go now and to beat every single one of his... <laughs> yeah, Draco Master posted. He's like, hey, by the way, I beat every fucking one. It wasn't like I just beat no. your score at this. He's like, no, I sat there all weekend and I just <laughs> destroyed you in every game you love. <laughs> Pretty much. And it's just like, well, at least I can say, well, pfft. At least my deadline, because my deadline, yes. my deadline score is pretty bad. Right. And like I couldn't even beat my own score, right? <laughs> and I'm like, Phew. I love that. Yeah, he he left you nothing to no. fall back on. You're like, at least I'm good at <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than Tobin. That's what yes. you can say. I yes. am better than Tobin. I am, I am better than Tobin. But is... no, he's totally he's totally fucked me. And like, you know, he was quiet too. He was just like, mm, I hope yeah. he doesn't look. I hope he doesn't yeah. look. And he's just he like, everything. yeah. And they just laid the bomb. So so damn you. And I will try to play this weekend. Yeah. But, that's what, we love the noob tubers being ultra competitive like that. That's yeah. pretty sweet. Like it gives Yuzo somebody to fight against. That's not me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm kind of an easy target. Uh, uh, so oh. let's tap 
Fuck you. Fuck you. I do not think they will put that on the box art, unfortunately. No. Um, Plus tab. Noob Tube says, eats a dick for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, the next Before my coffee. So, yeah. Blast blue. Dick coffee. Dick, dick coffee. Dick coffee. Stirs my coffee with its <laughs> cock. <laughs> So, we're talking about Blast Blue. Blue. Uh, so, this is a new fighting game. Or yeah. actually, a fighting game was we talked about a little before. It came from out in Japan, right? came out in Japan uh, in arcades. And I think it might have even been here in arcades. I'm not sure. Okay. But uh, wait, it is... Wait, there's arcades here? Uh, somewhere. Where? I don't know. Uh, there's actually one this weekend. Of course, oh, yeah. it's already been about the time. Uh, mm, yeah. It's already too late. But the California Extreme. Yeah. Happens every year. Uh, everybody brings those old-ass arcade games, old-ass pinball games. Hopefully, you can make it. We're going to take some footage. Yeah. So, hopefully, we'll post some, some footage of that. We love so old excited. retro arcade oh. games, like a bunch of old pinball games. And there's that arcade down the street from us that just got back the... Uh, so the, the Golf Land. The, 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 whatever uh, it's called, where you oh, touch the screen. The we DJ tried Max to play stuff. it last time, and we showed up, and it was wrapped in bubble wrap, <laughs> but it's back. Yeah. And we're going to go, and there's going to be a bunch of kids playing it that won't let us play. Yes. Um, a lot of emo kids all over the place. We're just going to have to take their hair, shave it, yeah. get them out of there. But apparently, it's actually out in arcade. So go check out... Um, look for it online. Yeah. Do you remember what the name of it is? I don't. It's uh, DJ Max is the same maker. Maybe I'll end Annotate right now when we're talking, like what the actual name is. I'll but Google it. it; you'll find the forum, you'll find the things. Yeah. So, um, so definitely do that. And uh, but Blast Blue, so it's made by the games that did Guilty Gear. Yes, so the, the developers who did Guilty Gear. And this game is a little different from other fighting games. Yeah, um, it's highly animated, 2D. Right. A lot of you know sprites where you don't see that much very often. Right? Isn't there like 3D. story to it and stuff? Like you like adventuring or something? <sighs> There's story mode, I guess. Yeah. But like it's so whacked. Mm. Like seriously, like. And, and it's not just I like didn't play it. I didn't yeah, play no, it. you so didn't play it at all. In what way is it whack? The story, uh, the characters are really bizarre. Yeah. So there's just like really weird handicap kid who like you know is like missing legs or he's like on stilts or whatever. He's like just weird, right? Like and Timmy? he has huh? Like Timmy? Timmy exactly like Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> and, but he has this mannequin. So you do this weird thing when you're playing. Yeah. You like set the mannequin somewhere, and then you're fighting. You're doing these really because you're pretty weak. But then somehow there's this like special mode where then you take control of the mannequin, and you can kind of do these weird combos. Whoa. And they use this sort of concept of this multi-character thing. Yeah. In other places too. So this other lady, she has a staff. Yeah. So one of the buttons, you just stick the staff on the ground. And you're fighting. You're like ah, whoo ah, and like I don't know where you can do like this whoop, and all of a sudden the staff, staff goes. <laughs> So it's just like this weird, like, I almost got to separate my brain yeah. to, to play some of these characters. Some of the characters are, are, are more easy. And, like, the thing is, this game is, 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 has, has one of those weird difficulty curves where it's, like, low, high. Like, once you right? beat two or three guys in the beginning, then it gets yeah. to be, like, fuck you hard. Yeah, basically. Yeah. You do the first four levels or something like that. It's just, like, button mash crazy. Yeah. You're doing all the... All of a sudden, you find somebody who's just, like, what, what does it's they like just do? perfect, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine at work, and he was like, oh, yeah, you know, it's just like, you know, I'm doing all this great. And, like, he got to a certain level, and all of a sudden, every single punch was countered. Wow. Right? Like, automatically. So you had to, like, like, know the counter-counter, yeah. you know, like, all this... Wacky. So so again, so I mean, like I don't. So wanna... what you're telling me now is this is a game for Asians. For Asians and uh, weeaboos that are really good <laughs> at what they do. Um, yeah, because the thing is, is like this is totally a niche. Yeah. Right. Like, totally a niche thing. It's not going to be like Street Fighter Four. You look at Street Fighter Four. That's totally global. Everybody knows how to oh, play. It's huge. You, you play. Yeah. I mean, right? It's it's one of those yeah, very I'm fucking retarded. Shh. <laughs> he plays, plays Blanca and all he does is hit the lightning constantly. <laughs> but uh, but no, yeah. So that's a very accessible game. I'm more excited about games like Marvel vs. Capcom that's yeah. coming out. I still want like you know good old classic games. This one is like so weird and advanced and so you couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it, but I, I it's 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 well done for what it is. That's, yeah. that's the whole thing, right? We well, like, got it's a not bunch of people game. on the comments and stuff. They're like, hey, when are you going to review Blast Blue Ball Blast? I mean, apparently people are geeked about it. Like as always, what we say about these games, if we don't connect with them and you guys do. Always feel free to send in a 60 second video and yep. we'll play it where you're like, I love Blast Blue. Tobin and Yuzo are fucking idiots. Like, this is why it's awesome. Yes. Knock yourself out. If you want to send those videos, we'll totally play them. Absolutely. So, so for me, like, it sums down, I can definitely see where if somebody really likes the kind of game, they're going to eat the shit up. Yeah. And it really works well with the, the stick if you bought one. Oh, cool. So nice. All right. Um, and then last up is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Uh, oh, he's going to oh, sneeze. He's going to sneeze. Sneeze Hunter. Hold on. Oh, ah! oh, it didn't happen. Ah, damn it. Uh, okay. So, uh, Monster Hunter Freedom, Reun Freedom Unite is on the PSP. Yeah, I believe it's the only console you don't own. Currently. Yeah. So there was this dude on yeah? th that talked to me on YouTube. He's like, hey, you know, you guys keep complaining you don't have a PSP. I'm going to send you my old one because I never play it. And I was like, yeah. oh, sweet, dude, thanks. Yeah. Nothing? Where is it, dude? <laughs> did, did you give him your address and did you give him all that? I gave him the noob tube address. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not giving okay, anybody yeah. my address. <laughs> 
You like show up and it's like from misery. He's like, I'm yeah. your biggest fan. You got a sledgehammer. That's right. <laughs> so you know, um, none of you get to find out where I live. No, but uh, yeah. So so the next one is like uh, it's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. It's yeah. PSP. It is basically Monster Hunter Freedom. So I reviewed this in earlier. I could tell this is another one of those games that are really interesting. I actually got a little bit more into this, and I don't know why. I think it was probably because I was trapped on a plane mm. for about six hours, three of them being on a tarmac. So, so it was actually really fun for the three hours. Yeah, I was going to say, so tell me what the appeal of this game is, because let me tell you my oh, experience was huge, that it started dude. off really, really slow, and I was kind of wandering in a village, and they would send me out to fight something, and it'd be kind of boring, and I'd come back, and I was, it was like a lot of wandering and walking, and like it started off really slow, so I couldn't get into it. But I know that everyone in Japan loves it. There is so a reason. Tell me what the appeal is. So here's the appeal. Okay, so so my experience of the game is very similar to yours. I went through the diff- different uh, towns and I did that, and I went through all the the, the quests. And it's it's really is you have the town, and you have quests. Yeah. And each quest is you know dynamically gen- not dynamic. It's like a, it's the same map, and you do different things on the same map, okay. and you go to a different land, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, but you go and you fight uh, monsters, yeah. you hunt them or capture them, you go gather stuff. Okay. It, you know, they all follow the same sort of model of you. You go do something, and you come back to the end, drop your shit off, and yeah. you get a. Yeah, it's like a little crate yeah. that you drop your shit in. And the whole and the appeal of it is like you kind of like go and you grab a bunch of different items. You can craft them together, and it's like super. It's like deeper than like some of the MMOs I played. Mm. As far as the recipes and the, you have to like go hunt monsters for their for their um, skins and then make armor out of it. Oh, kind of like, of like in an MMO yeah. where you're doing like questing to get better items. And so I can I can see that appeal. You're doing yeah. all this you know combining and alchemy and all yeah. this random shit, right? But that's not the true appeal. The true appeal apparently is if you play this game single player, you are going to get bored pretty quickly. Oh. Because the thing is, you're going and you're, you, you know, you're going and I fighting did. people. And it's the same stuff over and over. So basically after about three hours, I'm like, I hit that wall again where it's just like, I'm doing this gathering thing again. Yeah. It was the same as before. Yeah. It's in a different zone. Eh, I'm fishing again. Right. right? And it's a very, the, the game mechanics are very simplistic. But. So there's a multiplayer aspect. There's a multiplayer aspect where you're all together. And then, At the same time. Yeah, and they have these weekly events, which actually almost based off real time, I believe. I, I'm not sure about this, but some, some of the more rare items in the game you have to do as a party, and you have to do as part of these events. No so it's one of those so things where... This is Wi-Fi. Where, this isn't like you have to be lo- well, local. Well, it's it? normally locally, but apparently they have something where you can download off PS3 and then use the PS3 Wi-Fi oh. to then connect with it. I've never done it before, um, but I, I think predominantly most, like it's school kids in Japan yeah. getting together to play. And people don't, I'm not sure if people really And that's like here. together at night. Like they'll hop online and they'll, they'll be partying like with well, their friends. Well, in Japan it's like at school, yeah. right? And, oh. they, and, the, and the, the things are really short. They're like you know, 20 to 40 minutes yeah. because if you don't finish by the time you fail. Okay. Right. So then you go and you're basically almost doing like dungeon raids and MMO together all in the same local area saying like, oh, fuck, you know, use a spell or, oh, yeah, you know, hell, go back. Okay, I need no, a heal. I can see that being see, a lot that, of fun. That's where the, the cool – and yeah. you're getting like good fat loot and you're yeah. getting all this cool stuff. And it's it's a thing where you can do the same shit over and over again to like um, – uh, whatchamacallit, you know, basically just <laughs> – God damn it, what's the word? Farm. Basically, yeah, farm, farm, stuff. farm equipment and all that. And, and, and people just go crazy about it. It's like this MMO aspect yeah. that's local, sort of. Okay. All right, well, um, okay. So I, I guess I can kind of see that. That doesn't appeal to me no. as much, but I understand the appeal. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, I think... So are uh, you going to befriend a bunch of Japanese children and play uh, with them? No, that would be very creepy. <laughs> uh, but Yuzo no. Jackson. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> Topical, <laughs> very, um, yeah, like what four weeks after yeah, he's crooked, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's, I think it's like the thing is like you know rent it, check it out because if you, I don't think you're gonna like the single player because I, I, I got tired about three hour four hours in, yeah, for the most part, so I'm gonna give it like yeah, you know, kind of downish, but well, you if can't you rent have PSP games, can you? You can, okay, oh, yeah, blockbuster, yeah, okay. so rent it, check it out, and um, if you have friends with PSPs. This game is going to be the shit. Like, All right. Absolutely, like All everybody right. so that's played it. Get a bunch it. of kids into it with you, then no problem. Yeah, and yeah. I want and I want to find other people. Maybe they can show it'll be uh, different. Show sounds good. So this was a bit of a slow week for us, but Ooh. next week, uh, mm. next week we're 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 finally kind of catching up with some of the other games that came out when yep. we were both on vacation, and we're also getting some new games that are coming out next week. So finally, we're getting some. So, oh wait, no, the, oh uh. wait, sweet. So. We're actually playing some games this week that aren't on our new releases list. Yeah, so, exactly. So next there aren't week, very many new releases. Yeah, this, it's um, not technically a new release, but next week we're playing uh, uh, Call of Juarez. Call of Juarez? Next, oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, uh, next week we're Infernal? playing uh, Infernal. Yep. Uh, next week... Oh, Monkey Island. Monkey Island, uh, yep. That's actually on this it's list. It's almost, yeah. So 
we we do have a bunch of games coming out next week, so that'll be a little bit more action packed. And we week. might even have to shift some of those games to the next week after, because the next week after is ridiculously dead too. Right. And the thing is, we're actually need help. So if you guys know of any games in particular, because the next three weeks until middle of August, yeah, we're fucked. So, there, there's nothing to play. And we've so. found a lot of really good games by you guys before. Mm-hmm. Like I actually have two emails to follow up on. People mm-hmm. said, "Hey, this game is really cool. Check it mm-hmm. out." And I'm going to check them out this weekend right. and see if if we like them or not. Uh, but if you guys know of any uh, good flash games, any, any good iPhone games, iPhone games. Any good um, PC games? Any? I mean, like literally anything that we could go investigate. That's like an indie game. That's right. Uh, let us know in oh. uh, feedback at noobtube.com. Yeah. What? Are you gonna play that one that Lucian asked you? What was that one? It was that one. Uh, it was that weird Japanese porn one. Remember, I was telling you about. It? I sent you the links. Like, yeah. Shit. Do we yeah. Have, do you have to buy it? No, no. It's free. You can totally download it. Then I'll probably it's try it. Apparently, some sort of dating sim game where the whole point is to get into disabled. Yes, people's... I do remember that. That's awful. Yeah. I'm totally gonna play that. <laughs> it's in English. Yeah. It's totally totally localized. I forgot about that. It's I forgot like the a name dating of it. sim with handicapped girls. Yeah. So those are that's what you have to look forward to in the, over the coming month until basically Madden comes out and we start getting some good games I mean, again. You know, crippled girls need love too. That's true. It's only fair for me to spread <laughs> the Tobin around a little bit. You know, everybody gets I'm, I'm equal access. You're, you're ADA. I am. You're right. I ADA. Am. I'm, I'm accessible by all women except fatty. So <laughs> next step is. <laughs> Next up is Trine. Trine. So Trine, we we talked about the demo not too long ago, and uh, came out on the PC. I'm a jilted lover with oh, Trine. Come on, dude, you gotta play it, and I know why you're not gonna play it. Yeah, you know why I'm not. Well, I, I'm 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 gonna play it, but I mean, I'm but, are gonna, but are you gonna play one of these two? Because it's coming out on the PC and PSN. Yeah, and the PC we already know does not have online co-op, and I don't believe the PSN does either. That's the whole point of trying. <laughs> That's the whole point. Every video is just like you and I be playing together, and you're the wizard. And you lift up the thing, and I jump on it as the archer, and I swing across. And but, dude, you can totally play it offline, split screen. <laughs> oh, same screen. Actually, I don't even think it does split screen. So here's here's our recommendation. We don't know. So there's rumors. Nothing declared that Trion will be have online co-op when it comes to the XBLA. Which, if it does, again, that's not announced. And they said they will go back and patch the PC and PS3 one. Yeah, with this the is all co-op, a but... bunch of like people talking shit on forums, mm-hmm. like they do. Like I heard that it's coming out. <laughs> Multiplayer is going to be an extra twelve dollars. You know, it's just like. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. No. But developers, if you're watching this, which you're not, no. but if you're watching this, seriously, give us online multiplayer. <laughs> Don't release it. Wait. You could have waited. Yeah, just fucking... God um, damn it. That would, so, we, would have given, uh, we would have screamed this game to the stars. Maybe. Like, now I'm still going to play it because it's going to be cool, but... But you're not going to play it again when they have online co-op. Oh, I That's probably. That's the problem. You, think you don't you think? No, yeah, because like thing is, uh, oh, here's the thing. Right? On PC, it's thirty bucks. PSN, it's twenty bucks. So mm. recommend getting on the PSN because it's cheaper. Yeah, I'll get it on PSN. And you definitely, I think you want the controls. I mean, I didn't play with mouse and keyboard, but I really it was okay. It was okay. okay so, <clears throat> so um, yeah, we'll check it out. But anyway, so I mean, you know, like like we said before, Trine is really cool. It's very beautiful. Uh, good puzzles. Good very puzzles. Very good puzzles. Really neat being able to switch between the wizard and the warrior and the and the the, the thief. The thief. Yeah. I'm, I really do have a bitter taste in my mouth like that. I know. That well, was, you, that's what you were looking forward to, dude. It's 2009, motherfucker. Uh, like, put online in games. The games that are online, local, yes. mm-hmm. make them multiplayer. You know, at the very the least... The internet is fast. At the very least, tell us so we don't fuck ourselves. Because the thing is, they are totally making it so that we're going to spend $20 on PSN, and maybe and for some reason... Yeah. Well, either they'll never do it, or they'll just put it on XBLA, yeah. and put it just on that, and we're fucked. And it's just yeah. like, I'm going to spend another 20 bucks, I'm going to be very pissed off at you. you yeah. You've stolen $20 from me. Yeah. So exactly. So um, we we definitely we definitely mad at you for that. But me, I like the single player a lot. I think yeah. it might be twenty worth twenty bucks, maybe not thirty. Yeah, I'll, I'll still get it on the um, So Battlefield nineteen forty three, dude. Yeah. So you're so excited about being American oh. this again, right? Hell yeah, dude! Yeah. I wish that there were more World War Two shooters. I would. I want to play one every day. What I want to know is like, how is Dice going to be like? Okay, so we did Battlefield Battlefield nineteen forty two. Now we have Battlefield 1943. Yeah. How long was World War II? Because at some point they're going to... 45 this is the scale. end. So they, <laughs> they can do two, two more. more. They can do two more. And 45, you know, it's just going to be like kamikazes and nuclear weapons. So Pretty much, know, yeah. Not, like dropping bombs and things. It's just not, not very fun. So, um, yeah. uh, but Battlefield 1943, um, I'm really excited about this because it, took, it takes Battlefield 1942 to like Wake Island, some of the classic yeah. maps that I used to play, and makes it so that it's on you know consoles, which I'm still a little iffy on because I played it on mouse and keyboard. Yeah. But, um, well, but you played Battlefield 2 and you loved it. Oh, absolutely. But I yeah. thought you didn't, 
dig 1942 as much. Well, no. If 1942 came out first, I'm like, I love. Like, remember I played it. Constantly. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. there was one. Like, Vietnam, I didn't like ah, that that's much. Right. You didn't like it was okay, but actually, yeah. the one I really didn't like was Battlefield Bad Company. Yes. Right. That yes. was, and I'm hoping the same guys aren't involved because okay. I really didn't like the feel of it. Yeah. Uh, but Battlefield 1943, it's, it's a lot of. Uh, it's I spent seriously like in the Battlefield series. I must have spent at least like maybe. Wait, a is this month not on PC at all? I don't think it might be. I don't that'd know. Be, I just. I that'd just, be weird. I just read PSN and XBLA. All right. So maybe. I, I mean, they, they probably weird. weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's also PC. We'll check our notes. But uh, so, so you're definitely going to play this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be this weekend. I'm gonna totally going to get a bunch of noob tubers. It's going to be awesome. Um, next up, Tales of Monkey Island. Chapter so, 1. This is not this the is, HD remix. No, this is the Telltale Games uh, reimagining. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the okay. new, um, no it's called Chapterized. The, uh, the episodic. Yeah. The episodic, uh, and and we haven't been overly impressed with their previous episodic games. And mostly it's because of the script and the puzzle solving, yeah. right? It's just like it's all been very lacking in terms of what we used to remember. Right, exactly. Um, so we are definitely going to try this out. I, I uh, We've actually gotten our hands on a review copy. That's right. Um, I've played just a little bit, so I'm not going to say anything yet, but I will say that I'm hopeful. Really? So you yeah, think like, you'll finish it? I'm hopeful. Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. So we'll review it next week. Yeah, so I, and, I, and I'm actually more hopeful for the HD remix of the first one, because oh, the first one's still classic. Uh, and that's coming out sometime this month, I believe. I am so fucking pumped for that. Yeah. Uh, oh, last one's a little weird. Actually, so, speaking of, yeah, uh, while we're on LucasArts games. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, we don't have it as a call-in. Oh, that's right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. LucasArts games, yes. we have big news. You may or may not have heard this. Uh-huh. LucasArts on Steam. Yes. And Old LucasArts Old on Lucas Steam. Lucas Arts. So they, they, they said they're going to be uh, putting you know ones as they come on. So right now they have Loom, yeah. Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis, yeah. The Dig. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, well, Monkey Island. It's coming. Did they have the monkey next week? Next this, this, oh this shit! Yeah, yeah. So they're actually doing it weekly. Yes. So oh. So shit. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a history to Lucas Arts. There was yeah. two phases in Lucas Arts. There was yep. Lucas Arts. They made really fucking awesome games. Yep. And then there was Lucas Arts when all they do is spin out a shitload of crappy Star Wars bullshit that no one cares about. Pretty much. This part was awesome. And this is the part they're releasing on Steam. All of them. And uh, the dig is already out. Yes. And uh, I was. I we reviewed. I reviewed the dig. What like four weeks ago? Yeah, you're. It's like kind of hard to get it, right? I mean, you it, actually it have to find really it. It was really hard to get. And I, and I admitted. I straight up admitted that I pirated it. Like I was like, I had to go download a copy. I couldn't buy it. Hallelujah! <laughs> but you did buy it a long time ago when you were a kid. Yeah, and I'm gonna buy yeah, this right. now. I'm gonna yeah. buy this now. Just like out of seriously, out of support. For it's what they're five doing, bucks. it's five bucks. Go five bucks. to Steam right now and buy the <laughs> dig. It's so fucking good. I finally should play. actually. Yeah, we should just totally do it. since we're totally dead for the next. We should just do a, a Lucas Arts adventure game review series from it. July. We'll lose all of our subscribers. Oh yeah, no one will give a shit. They're like, God, these guys are old. Yeah, I don't Why care about these games. You know, oh shit, dude. Pokemon. Yeah, because Steam has achievements. Do you think they added achievements? Oh. I'm serious. They have achievements for like games. So it's like. Dude, if they I gotta check that shit out. Oh, dig, dude, I would shit Steam, my pants. if you haven't done it yet, yeah. do it now. Put achievements in the dig. because then you know, seriously, like if there was an achievement to play, play and finish every single Lucas Arts game, I yeah. like done. Oh, I would totally done. do that. Uh, so, but yeah, then, five bucks but a piece. The funny thing is, is yeah. next week they're releasing uh, Secret Monkey Island, but I don't think I'm gonna play it. Because it's the original version. It's right? the original yeah. version, and the thing is, is like I don't want to spoil it. Where it's like the HD remake comes out, and I'm like, ah, you don't want to play it again just because it looks <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah, like, right? I'm not gonna play it again twice. So I mean, I'm gonna wait off on that one, but I'll totally play. If, oh my god, oh my god, Grim Fandango! When they bring out Grim Fandango, oh, dude, are you no. kidding me? When they bring out Sam and Max and the Sam Tentacle, Sam and Max, the oh. Tentacle, oh, oh. Lucas Arts. And I really want to play so Loom again. That Loom was one of the ones I remember just playing. Just like, yeah? do you ever do you ever play it? It's the one where you're using uh, musical notes, and the whole thing is like you're going to various uh, places. You're getting more notes, and you build songs. My and it's friends like, had that game. I never played. Oh, it. it's 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 like one of the most most artistic of mm. the uh, of Lucas Arts games. Mm. So it's uh, a lot of good memories there. So anyway, go to Steam right now. Seriously, support this shit. Five bucks. Maybe keep happening. Uh, Memento. Tell them like you have to be able to mark when you buy the game. You're like, you can't put this revenue towards any future Star Wars game. <laughs> Do something creative for once in your life, you useless fuck, and make something that's not Star Wars. At the very least, though, they are giving Bioware Kotar MMO. So yeah, that's true. They're, they're doing at least one thing potentially right. Yeah. Potentially. Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> When's uh, the last time you played a good Star Wars game? Uh, Kotor. Seriously? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Nice. The old relic was that like six years ago? Which so the first ago? one or the second one? First one. First one. Yeah, it was like six or seven years ago. Yeah. So. It's been wow. a while. Let me tell you that. Um, and then the last one up is Memento Mori. Uh, we just um, kind of put this in here because it looks halfway interesting. But and there's nothing else really to talk about. We didn't want to no. talk about Asphalt 4. No. 
Um, Asphalt 1 through 3 being as good as they were. Probably. That we've um, never heard of them. <laughs> Asf- <laughs> is asphalt another word, another word for butt crack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's true. Asphalt. Right? Um, but yeah, the, uh, whatchamacallit, there was another one like Nancy. Shrink yourself <laughs> down and fly, fly down the asphalt. <laughs> Dingleberries at seven o'clock. That's nasty. Yes, uh, but yeah. So Memento Worry. Uh, it looks like an interesting adventure game. Kind of scary. Yeah, it's like it's um, all it, it's it's uh, kind of in the the Dan Brown line of uh, yeah, the, actually like religious thriller. Yeah, religious thriller. Um, Let's just you know just imagine. Uh, Why well, can't I remember the name of the, the book? The the Dan Brown book. The uh, which one called Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. Or, yeah, it's kind of like Da Vinci Demons Code, order. Angels and Demons, that kind of stuff. So one thing that looked interesting though when you were watching the gameplay yeah. videos is just like it was it felt a little like. Mistish, yeah. Except it was moving, so it, was, it felt really old school. As far it is. As it's like an concerned. old school 3D adventure, <clears throat> explore, pick up shit. It could be good or bad. Uh, if I get really bored, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. And let us know. <laughs> How's that for a rousing review? Yeah. If I get so bored, I'm kind of interested. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. So we have donation. our donation. Thank you. Yeah. So Brett. Um, Brett. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, every week, uh, we thank the people that give us money to keep the site running, to mm-hmm. keep us uh, buying games, which we then give away to the community, and buying wine. wine, buying web hosting. So this week, Brett donated money. Uh, those of you that donate one time or a uh, subscription on the front right side of the webpage, we really, really appreciate it. Thank yes. you very much. And yeah, if you just on the front page, you can actually see all the different things. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, we have uh, shirts. So... <laughs> I'm sure you've been admiring our beautiful shirts. We've yes. got the Joust shirt yes, over here. Yes, and if you actually look in the back, I don't know if you can it see in the camera. Has, it, you can't can see, see it? it, but it's, oh, there's, no. a, there's a flap uh, button. Like, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's not working. Totally, yeah, it's not working. You need like a uh, swivel but stool. But it actually has the, 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 the icon of the uh, original thing where it had the button has flap. Yeah, which is so cool. Oh, it's so awesome. Uh, and then mine is uh, prepare, and it shows a robot fucking shit up, which is how I roll. That's I like, right. I like robots destroying cities. Yes, and thank you very much for Robot Studios for hooking us up. And they also hooked up you guys yep. with a code. Uh, yeah, so what's their website? Is, is it, uh, it's uh, robitstudios.com. So R-O-B-I-T. I'll put, I'll put it here on the bottom. Um, robitstudios.com. And uh, yeah, if you do the new tube code uh, up to the end of August, so you still have a little bit of time, you get yeah. 10% off your order. 10% off, baby. So uh, check that out. Also, Ooh. we have this shirt. Uh, uh, one says, I was wearing a while back. Yeah. So prepare for zo- prepare for zombies. Awesome shirt. So yeah. that was very cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to give. The, uh, we have what we have two of them. Yeah, we have two. Probably We've, one on Twitter and uh, one on Twitter. So if you go on Twitter, twittercom slash noobtube or uh, on the forums, we're going to find a contest to give away there. So we get free shit. We give it to you guys. That's how we roll. That's right. And last up, we got shoopity doop. So thank you very much for hooking up together, Wookie Monster. Yeah, is it Cookie and, uh, Monster? I think it's Wookie Monster. Wookie Monster. Yes. So uh, um, Wookie Monster's been putting together the shoops. They kind of died down for a bit. Now they're back in full effect. Back once again with the Renegade Master. Something, yep. something. Can't see anything because we have all sorts of yeah, images. So uh, anyway, um, those are the shoops. Thank you guys for doing the shoops, and thank you for putting this together. We, we, we love this stuff. Like when you guys put together the funny pictures. I actually haven't looked at the shoops for the episode with Turing. Oh, there's some good know. ones. They, okay. Well, they have like first love. They have like him holding you turning a toe to me and just basically a big heart. <laughs> and I'm like, All right. Yes. Cool. So thank you guys for doing the shoops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So each week we'd like to feature the NoobTube army on the show. Please any, send any videos or audio questions, uh, reviews, funny stories, or anything cool. Yep. Uh, and you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480. And don't comment on YouTube, what's the number to call? It's 888-233-8480. <laughs> but nobody watches until the 40 minute mark, do they? Nope. So uh, also send your files to feedback at noobtube.com. Uh, yep. Also, be sure to post video response on YouTube. And please keep all the videos under a minute if you want to be featured on the show. Don't forget the yow. Yeah. So, next up is Fresco, Fresco. P. Coltrane. Mm. Hey, Tobin and Yuzo. Fresco here, and I was wondering, out of the MMOs that you have played, which one was your favorite? I don't mean the best one in particular, but what was the one that you had the best time playing? Well, that was my question. Peace and yow. That's short and sweet. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, That's you can... actually very interesting. Yeah. Um, I've played, I played a bunch a of MMOs. Um, what's, what's, your, what's the more, most fun you had in an MMO? I mean. So I would actually say that my number one like top MMO experience had to have been uh, getting to beta test EverQuest. Oh, interesting. Like That okay. was one of those things where MMOs hadn't really existed. Like I played a bunch of MUDs back in yeah. the day, like text-based stuff, and then I got into this beta. Yeah. I like... 
sent all these emails and like applied and I got in this beta for, for EverQuest and so did a bunch of dudes on my floor in college. Oh, dude, you did it then. So, yeah, this was oh, back in CMU. Awesome, yeah, so yeah. So we were all just like adventuring together and like there was nobody there. Like the whole yeah. world was empty so we were doing all these quests and like everybody was like oh, staying wow. up until six in the morning. Uh, so, I mean, that was one of those kind of like magical like discovering an enti- Like if you imagine if somebody invented a new genre of games mm-hmm. tomorrow and we like stayed up all night playing them, like that's kind of what it felt like to me. Yeah, and, and you know the thing is like the funny thing is my is definitely EverQuest 2. Because, like, really? Well, see, like, I bought. Because, like, the thing is, it was my first MMO. Like, I didn't play Ultimate Online. I played some MUDs, but I didn't really get too much into them. But, like, um, it was like July, and we're like, hey, I'm kind of bored, and we have a big long weekend coming up. And I just told all my friends, I'm like, hey, let's go check out this EverQuest game. Yeah. It looks really lame, but let's check it out. And we got it, and we basically all, like, did a, did a big sleepover. We had a big table, all of our PCs in the nice. same room. Nice. You had a land dude, party with, with EverQuest. <laughs> dude, we were sharing a 56K modem connection. Holy shit. Yeah, it was, it was complicated. Oh, he had two that, lines. Did that work? Yeah, he had two lines, and we had two people on one, it, like, no more than like, two. Orange wasn't lagged as shit? Like, uh, it, it, <laughs> no, it still worked. It yeah, still that's, worked. that's awesome. Because this was way before DSL, dude. Yeah, this yeah, was, like, yeah. seriously, right when it's it came out. dark ages. We you had, were up there, like, clacking stones together. Oh, I know. But, dude, we had the best time. And, like, yeah. the, my favorite stories that I remember we reminisce about is just, like, oh, remember that time we charmed this earth element, or your earth elemental pet? Basically buffed the fuck out of it and left it and let it like run loose in the town. Yeah. Because all these newbies were like going, "What's this?" Because you see a pet, right? And you're like, "Yeah, yeah whatever." It's like Jabobna, it right? The shit out of and you. it, it was, dude, my gut like bust like just that whole night for an hour. I was just like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's so awesome." So like that kind of shit. So yeah, like I would, I, I would I also say my, my runner up though mm-hmm. was uh, playing World of Warcraft with noob tubers. That was pretty cool. Because seriously, like that that, really th- that actually made me feel like I was in college again. Like yeah. hopping online with a bunch of noob tubers. It's one thing. Like I don't, we, you and I don't play MMOs purposefully no. because this show would disappear because we're both addictive. Yeah. And we would seriously just dive in and be like, what'd you play this week? Fucking World of Warcraft. What do you think I played, bitch? <laughs> it would be a World of Warcraft co- pa- podcast and like 80% of you. And there's totally like seven care. of those already. Yeah. So, but the point is, is, is getting these other noob tubers mm. in there and we were all just going around. Some people knew what they were doing. Some people didn't. Mm-hmm. We'd be like, hey, you know, let's make this party. Let's go on this quest. And yeah. everyone's just kind of dicking around and talking on Ventrilo oh, yeah. stuff. So, I mean, like when we get noob tubers together, which we need to kick back into gear again, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we, we need to do, do that for... End of the month for, uh, for uh, August. Yeah, so August, I mean, we haven't done Eve yet. So that Eve would be kind of interesting. Eve Online would be fun. Uh, they were doing City of Heroes a while back. That was yeah. pretty cool. So, oh, dude, I heard uh, Dungeons and Dragons is now free to play. Free to play. Oh, uh, so it's be about to go to business. Is what you're saying? Pretty much. So uh, we could we could ride that one into the ground. Actually, that one or Age of Conan. Apparently, Age of Conan they're giving a two week free trial. Oh, which they Age of Conan before. people were saying was going to be the WoW killer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I can have. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're, we should get back into that. We should do another because we got nothing coming out in August. Right. We should kick up a uh, let's let's get some noob tubers. We'll play some shit together. If you yep. guys have like a favorite, let us know. Actually, go to the uh, forums and go to the events. And the Bugaba has yep. a uh, basically MMO invasion thing, and they, yep. they do all their planning and they do all the things. So go check it out there. Sign up, let them know, and then we'll figure it out. All right. So next up, uh, we have what do we have? Bailey we have oh McCray. Bailey McRae has a question for us. Mm. Hey Tobin, hey Yuzo, Bailey McRae here from YouTube, real name David. After reading some newly surfaced rumors about a Final Fantasy VII remake, I have a question for Tobin, who I know is as big a fan of the original as I am. Tobin, if there was a remake, do you think Square should include all the new characters and story bits from the compilation games, like Crisis Core? Because personally, I would not like it. I just want a remake of the original without all the new stuff I don't really like. But I would be curious to hear your opinion. That's all. Yow. Nice. Interesting question. Yes. So, uh, do you think they'll add, uh, what's, what's his name again? Black, black haired cloud. What's oh, <laughs> god damn it. What? Now we're both going to look like assholes. Now I can't remember his name. Zach or something? Zach. Zach. Okay. Good. Uh, so that would be interesting. I just got to say, so those of you that are going to download the dig this week, like we told you yeah. to, that dude's voice is seriously the exact same voice as the German scientist in the dig. <laughs> I shit you not, like, exactly the same. Really? Yeah, like, I, I, was, I was listening to that, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. We should do, if so many of you guys could do a comparison yes. video, yes, that would be Yes, yes, if one of you guys awesome. do a comparison video, and make it nice, because this <laughs> yes, guy's cool. Yes, this guy's awesome. All right. So, uh, Bailey McRae, so, the Final Fantasy VII remake, he asked me, so you don't get to talk now. But... <laughs> So I actually agree with him. I think that that if you're going to do a Final Fantasy VII remake, don't pull a fucking Star Wars and like Make stick the same game. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't. You, 
Hmm, actually, that's a good question. So, I mean, like, <clears throat> cause I'm just saying, I mean, you know, <laughs> if you want to dick with the battle system, if you want to dick with these things, if you want to make it a more modern game, I say do that. So the, the gameplay you're cool yeah. with, but not like the characters of the yeah, story. Don't, don't start adding in like, so, you know, make it so like Aerith doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> How old is that fucking game? Come on! But yeah, um, I, I wouldn't change any crucial plot points, sure. and I wouldn't start trying to stuff oh, okay. other there fucking. Is, they final, fucking did that. Sorry. And like, who? Yeah. Who is the like when that that adventure game they made where the guy was running around with guns? The Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah, Christ, oh yeah. It's I like mean, don't stick these Christ, dudes in yeah. there. Just like let it, you know, let it be what it is. Like that game was magical as it was. But here's my question, right? Like, I seriously, I mean, I have a feeling, especially knowing you, even if they put a nice fancy overlay on it, you're going to play up to the first disc and then you're going to stop. I'm totally going to beat it. <laughs> you, I will beat it. I will so beat it. You said that when they re-released Final Fantasy VII as is on PSN, which it is, and I, I don't know if you finished it. I still that. haven't not beaten it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, how far did you get? Seriously. Uh, did you get so first disc? other games came out. Ah, okay, so just checking. There weren't discs, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? I wonder if they just kind of let it go must right just, through. It must just, yeah, it must yeah. just transition. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you, I, uh, sorry. So you know, he asked this question as if he knew something we didn't know, though. Like, why like is they he, were going to do it? No, but the thing is, they're not going to make. No, one. because they've already remade yes, Final Fantasy three, four, and five, yeah. and they they didn't fuck with it. They just basically, I think they did make you know some slight tweaks to the uh, combat. Yes, they did. Right. They so, did. but nothing, nothing major for the most seven's part. coming. Have they done six yet? I think they need to do six first. Yeah. Did they so. do five? I thought they did, I thought they did three and four. four the I thought they did five. Maybe I don't not. know. Who knows? They're, they're coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, you know what they're going to do just to piss you off? They're going to do five, six, and, and then the eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck you, Toby. I will hunt them down and stab <laughs> them with my wife's knitting needles and their fucking eyeballs. Ooh. So, yeah, so next up is, uh, so this is kind of funny. DJ Powell's got mm. a question about the PS3 bundle. Bundle? Hello, new dude. This is DJ Powell. Um... So Best Buy has this new PS3 bundle package. comes with Killzone 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, <laughs> these were two games that I was actually really disappointed in. And everyone's excited for this new bundle package. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> so, Sony is not lowering the price on their thing, but they're throwing yeah. two $60 games at it. That seems like a price that, cut to me. It kind of seems like a price cut, but they're, just, they're like... But seriously, the president of Sony keeps coming out. He's like, he's like, I would rather suck my own dick than lower the price of our console. And there's like, here's twenty know, games, here's, here's three, here's all the games for free. <laughs> wow. So the thing is, is why don't they just do like PS3 and any two games? Yeah, they do that occasionally, don't they? Right. I mean, like that would yeah. be a bundle that I would just be like, okay, Sony, you have done the exact right thing. That is fucking awesome. That's basically a hundred twenty dollars price cut. Yeah, like that's a huge deal. But then they pick your two games. It's like if they, if I could go in, if I didn't have a PS3 now, I'm like, oh, let me get a PS3. Let me get Uncharted and fucking Ratchet and Clank. Mm. I would think Sony was the coolest company in the whole world. That's true. And for three ninety nine, you'd actually recommend it. Because think oh, about it, if you spend yeah. sixty dollars for each one, that's like two eighty yeah. for a PS3, and, and like, then, yeah, dude, that's say, like no question, two ninety nine, no buy it like yeah, right absolutely. away. We'd just be like, go it's buy the like PS3 no right now. Yeah, uh, but but the thing is, these two by games, forcing though? those two games down someone's throat, it's like, yeah, but Killzone two was good. Killzone two was good. Uh, Metal Gear Solid though, we didn't like Metal Gear Solid, but a lot of people are excited about. it. I mean, for people that were on the fence, right? They're like, yeah. okay, I don't know, the PS3 is kind of expensive, and you know, I, yeah, I like Metal Gear Solid two and three. Yeah, Killzone was pretty good. Whatever, like. It's a good deal for them. It is a good deal. But not for us. I yeah. mean, eh. um, But, I mean, you know, it's good that Sony's at least seeing the light and they're realizing that being twice the price of their competitors is really not working out all that well for nope. them. Two ninety nine, and if they make this like... Because they, you know what they're doing, right? They're waiting for the slim version. Yeah. There's going to be a slim, re- cost-reduced one. They're going to yeah. sell that one for cheaper. Right. Three fifty, two ninety nine. It's not going like to do that. any PS2 compatibility. No. It's going to be all, like, all this stuff. <laughs> they're going to pull it out. And the whole thing is, they're not going to tell you. They're going to hold up that announcement as long as possible yep. so people pay three ninety. Oh yeah, I mean that's, it's business. That's oh, yeah. what they do. Oh yeah, like so. it'll be like a Christmas release this year. They'll be like, by the way, PS3 oh, yeah. Slim. next week. Yeah. PS3 Slim yeah. two ninety nine, and everybody that right bought in one time now for Christmas fucked. Yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> so the next one up, we've got a uh, hmm? so so uh, we have oh. a, a mystery guest. I don't know who it is. I, ca- been, I can't figure it out. It's been I don't I don't know if, if like those of you guys that have been watching the show for a long time, you know the voices of our regular callers. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us who this is. Uh, who could that be? That was a Laszlo drive-by. That's right. No question. Nothing. Uh, hopefully, I think. Hopefully, I think he's showing up. 
Uh, again, Pax again? Pax, yeah, him and uh, him and Top Hat. I think I have a room mom. together. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And cousins. That was awesome. awesome. So seriously, Lazo, send another uh, voicemail with That's maybe right. some words. Use your words. Yes. And speaking of Pax, we have we actually started pimping that again, right? Because yeah. Pax is coming up at Pax the end of Aug- uh, no, early September, right? September first, yes. second, third, yeah, something so like that. So roughly. S- Six weeks from now. Six weeks from now. So uh, it costs you know some money to fly there, and it costs yeah. some money to stay there. So so if you didn't save it up now, I mean, yeah, I mean, start start getting your shit together. I mean, people are going on the forums. They're arranging to split rooms. Uh, people are driving out together. Yeah. People are flying out. Do whatever it takes. Come to PAX. This is like the one time that all of the noob tubers <laughs> can meet each other. It's like you know, you and oh. I aren't. We don't like we don't we we fucking hang out and mingle. This isn't That's like right. one of these things where you don't get to hang out. Like everybody just hangs out. We shoot the shit. We hang out in at the arcade. We hang we out. Play at the games bar. together. We play kickle. We beat kickle. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. You so, and I are uh, just two dorks. Exactly. Like we all just we all just chill, and it's seriously the highlight of the year in terms oh, of the noob team community. And not only that, dude, we have a huge crew. So like before we were kind of we were kind of organizing stuff and all that, but now we got like Locke. He's doing a bunch of stuff. Sunflower's gonna be doing. so basically like we're not just gonna have some some minor. I, I want to have some random shit going on. I, yeah. I want some like, you know, flash mob, random YouTube flash mob yes. happening, random, whatever. It's going to be some crazy stuff. So. Yes. We just get like, just like take over a forum where a bunch of people are, are oh, yeah. asking questions and start being like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. We'll think of some flash mob yeah, stuff. it'll but be good. It's going to be so, so fun. So look up uh, Google Packs. It's the top hit for Packs. PAX, yes. Penny Arcade Expo. Get your shit together and come hang out with us. And you have to register today because they yeah. are going to limit it this year. They They're did not limit it last year. You cannot buy them at the door. They're limiting it 60,000 people if you want to understand how big this fucking thing is. It was 60. like maybe 30 or 40 last year, yeah. I think. It's, it's almost oh. doubling, and last year it was huge. So It's going to be so fun. So, yes. uh, and then the last, last question we have is from B. B. What's up, B? Yo, B. Hey NoobTube, this is B from the forums. I was just wondering if you guys knew anything about the XNA Creators Club. Because one of my friends was trying to make a game for it. And I was wondering if you knew anything about it and how easy it is to use and how it helps UGC. Alright, thanks. Yow! All right, B. So XNA. XNA. I don't know if you guys know about this? It's uh, they. It's the developer kit for Microsoft uh, Xbox and PC. And you PC. Can do, you can create a game, make it work on PC or Xbox, and you can actually uh, get everything running. But to actually get it on the Xbox, you have to pay hundred bucks a year. Mm. So it's like it's just like the, the if you do iPhone development. Yeah. So you, you can actually do all the debugging. You can do all everything. But the moment you want to actually get it out on the marketplace. Yeah, you got to pay. Uh, but it's but cool. once you get on the marketplace, you can start charging people four bucks to play it. So if you actually made a game worth playing. Yeah, so twenty five copies, you're done. <clears throat> you're good to go. So um, uh, the the, the do, I don't, do you know if you, is it like C sharp or I don't yeah, know, it's all C sharp. So to, if you have to learn C sharp, if you don't know it, you have to go program. It's kind of like Java. I mean, yeah. if you guys are somewhat programmers, it's very similar to that. But um, it's kind of neat because it's pretty relatively simple to learn. You don't have to worry about memory management. We're getting way too geeky, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like it's it's easier to program than other other yeah. games. Yeah. And if you're um, interested in programming, I mean, go buy a C sharp book for dummies. Oh, like, yeah. This is the best way. If like, because a lot of people will get these people like, hey, I want to get a game in the a, a job in the video game industry. Hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to do that. <laughs> this he, is how you do. It. You don't understand. When we were growing up. There was nothing. There was nothing no. at all. Like you had to go and try and read other people's shit. Yeah. Like you had to go to forums or like beg people for. Yeah, we had to write code. like basic on common words. No it was just like poking. It was ridiculous. So now they're giving this to you on a silver platter. If you want to be a game yep. developer, all you do is you go buy a book. Actually, don't even buy a book. <laughs> just go on the web and like Google like C sharp tutorial. Yeah. Yeah. And download the dev-, dev kit. You can get a game running on your PC today. For free. For free. free. So, I mean, seriously, you uh, have no excuse. If you want to be a game developer, you have no excuse. They're just literally, like, spoon-feeding yeah. this to you. And, and like, Go do it. <laughs> like, to, 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 to exemplify how easy this is for you guys, like, when I, like, I got out of college, I'm like, I want to do games. I want to make games. Mm-hmm. How do I do it? I'm like, fuck. All I can really do is write DirectX games on PC, and yeah. that's just a bitch. It's yeah, a pain in the ass. Fun. And then I looked at console. Like, how do I get in the console industry, yeah. right? Like, Sony, they had this net yaroze. Do you remember that program? Yeah. So you can buy a black PS2 or PS1 yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day, right? And you can actually write code for it. But do you know how much they charge? It was like, for? It was like it was 500 bucks. It was like $800. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just out of school. I'm like, yeah. I, I do. I was like, $800. Yeah, that's weird. I like to eat. Yeah. Uh, you know, rent. A roof over my head is yeah. nice. But this is free and this would have been ridiculous. And yeah. not only that, you have just, you pay 100 bucks and you can get on the marketplace, sell it. Yeah. And there's this you other, yeah, there's you other can weird. You pay for college with this shit, seriously. Yeah, so there's a couple of iffy things about it. The the, the marketplace. I don't, do you, have you ever been in the marketplace on Xbox? It's kind of it's kind of hard to navigate. Yeah, and there's a lot of shit on yeah. there because everybody can do it. So um, 
they kind of need to work on that. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I mean they probably need to have like a better rating system. You know, like the, the top store, twenty right? games. They, you know, yeah. they, they do like the app store. So, but the other thing is, is say that you have a young kid that yes. you would like to teach him to be a programmer, but you know, you don't want like you're talking like too young to learn how to write. Yeah, to we're code. talking like you know eight to twelve. You know. So, what did XNA come out with? XNA came out with this. Actually, for Microsoft Research, they came out with a thing called Kodu. 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 Uh, K-O-D-U. K-O-D-U, I think something, something like that. that. But anyhow, it's it's, it's a basically thing where you're you're just it's a visual program. You can make yeah. a game all from icons. All Shit. from icons. It's um, like it's a, it's programming for illiterate people. So yeah, it's just like you know. I mean, monster. seriously, you design a level, you can drop in monsters, and you're like this monster. Okay, boom. You like click yeah. the monster, and you say monster. When it sees an apple, it eats it. When it sees the player, it attacks them. When it sees you this can, thing moves away, you can yeah. basically do AI. In yeah, a, you can do your own really AI. You can write puzzles. You can write mechanics. So you can seriously just yeah. go in. Like even if you're not a little kid, I mean, we say it's for little kids, but say you like the idea of programming a game, you don't want to write a, write code. Yeah. You can go dick around with this. It's five dollars. I shit you not. It's five dollars. Yes, five dollars. You know you can actually get the trial and actually play around with it already. So give it a try. And there's other things too. You can do DS development really easily. Uh, PSN. I don't know if you can do that easily. Well, the These days. PlayStation Three is infamous. Yeah, you don't for, want. You don't want to. Like, you don't want to try to Developers that. basically only develop on the PS3 because it's really powerful and there's a lot of money to be yeah. made in Japan. But seriously. No one ever writes code for the PlayStation 3 and comes away sane or happy. No. It's apparently like the worst like, development environment imaginable. Yeah, parallel. Pro- oh, it's ridiculous. So yeah. yeah. Uh, stay away from that. So, sure, yeah. So go write some code, kids. Yeah. Make some money because the economy's in the shitter. That's right. If yeah. you're in school, this is your opportunity. Do not squander our youth, like the, our youth when we did we on really um, did. playing video games. Make them. Yeah. Uh, do both. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that is our show for the week. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the website at noobtube.com. Participate in the forums by clicking the community tab at the top of the front page. Yeah, and if you're watching the video on YouTube, click on the subscription button right there. I actually been pointing down, but it's actually more like right here. And also rate the videos on uh, by clicking on five stars on Tobin's right thigh over here, ish, ish, somewhere around there. Thank you for just, listening. Just rub me. Just, just rub all me. over. Not lip, me though, because lip, I think lip, lip my stockings, please lip them. <laughs> Lip, lip my <laughs> stock. <laughs> That's all for this episode. I'm using Watanabe. And I'm Devon because I wrote engineering for NoobTube is done by range. Fights like a cow strunk. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you all next week. We're out. Yeah.